Hey everybody, Delta Flight Gaming back again. It is Friday. That means we are diving into the horror game of Dead Space for Free Friday. No, I don't trust you. See ya. Okay, so. Where is. Oh! So, I hope you guys are having. At least, if you know, hopefully, if your week didn't go too well, or hopefully it did, hopefully, you guys are having or going to have a great weekend. Always rooting for you. Oh, you don't say. Where's that coming from? Now I see one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Damn it. Well, let's get this party set. <laughs> Shit, shit, shit! Come on. Come on, die already! Seriously! And there are children screaming. Okay. We can spawn any more drops. Nope. All right. So, <clears throat> since we are on the topic of horror, this video popped up on in my feed yesterday. In 1998, in Poland, this girl goes missing. Oh, don't need that. Don't need that either. Shut it, Danvers. Shut it. Engineering log. Temple report. Someone has shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and damaged the valves in the process. They need to be repaired before I can reopen them, but we're running out of time. With the engine offline, orbit decay will begin in less than 10 hours. I just can't understand who would do this. It's one of those crazy unitologist bastards. I'll break their neck. They said they were coming. We never should have let them live. Shut up, Danvers. Help me with the tools. Temple out. Well, all right. So, uh... No trust. Hey, for stasis pack? Okay. So anyway, uh, this video was talking about how this woman went missing <clears throat> in Poland in 98. And, like, just gone. You know, and she had been gone, I think, for, like, a couple months, I think. And then this dude was just out on his boat, out on the river or whatever. And all of a sudden, he heard her pull down. Or is it already? I think it's already down. Oh, no, it's not. Um, so he... He was on his boat and I was Whatever you did, it's working, Isaac. I have a fuel reading. It's only a quarter full, but that's enough to restore orbit once you bring the engines online. What the hell? Oh, false alarm. I thought I saw something. No, well, you probably did. But his... The motor on his boat got caught up. And so he... You know, he reaches down to see what it is. Really? Yes, man. And the kick is good. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm not gonna get a moment to tell this fucking story. Holy shit. Now, can I please tell the story?
Okay. So anyways, guy reaches down, grabs you know, what he thinks is jamming up his the motor, and finds basically a human suit. You know, at first he sees an ear and pulls the rest of it up and finds it's a human body suit. And at first they the police were like, what the fuck is this? We don't know what this is. Like why what? that's just, you know, fucking disturbing. And they likened it to, you know, the character Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs, which came out like eight years prior. And it gets weirder, like it's a little weirder from there. And wait, where'd it go? Dude, where'd my explosive canister go? Okay, we're playing it that way. Anyways, so the first suspect they brought up was a kid who, like, he went to the same school as her, and he lived, like, I think he was either lived near her, or he lived near where the body was, the suit was found. But the most fucked up part about it was the fact that the kid suspect, he had killed his dad, and basically cut his dad's face off, and they, and like, wore it, in front of his grandfather, because his grandfather had bad eyesight. But it ended up being, he was just, it was a separate incident. So I'm like, when I heard that, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? There's a human body suit that winds up in a river. There's a guy who cuts his dad's face off and wears it like a, you know, like a mask, and they're just completely unrelated. It's one of the, it's an unsolved case to this day, but it's still, it's just one of those, like... Like, you couldn't, you couldn't write that. Like, oh, yeah, there just happens to be another kill. Just, you guys run away or what? Alright. I know you're in here, Stan. I should have gotten rid of that guy first. Oh, that is so gratifying. No, 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 Yeah, when I was like listening, when I was watching that video, it just was so fucking crazy that there was just so happened to be, you know, another killer and, you know, skin suit wearer, maker, whatever, that just happened to be, you know, either like, like I said, yeah, I can't remember if either went to like high school with the same girl or knew who she was, but it was just like, you can't make that up of like how similar and close together that that is I think I'm okay on health packs I probably should I mean I think I'll be alright with Ammo. Well, there's six more. Alright, need to go down. I've been trying to get into more, or try and find more info or videos, documentaries, and whatever about you know, serial killers, maybe paranormal stuff. There's some other channels that are 
doing a really good job of that and it just started. There's a guy that I follow on Twitter, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. But this is oh, I gotta look him up. But he just started he, he started We've got four trillion tons of rock hanging off our ass, and without that centrifuge to balance the ship, the gravity tethers will pull us straight down to the colony. I'm heading in there now to see if I can fix it. He started doing paranormal stuff for his channel. So let's see if I can I'm trying to see if I can remember what his name was. I don't know. I know it'll probably come to me like right as I'm done with the video or as I'm editing, because I'll go and look it up. Dropping a bunch of enemies, and I gotta start killing shit. Nothing yet. Justin Gaming? Like his name Justin Gaming? I think that's his name. I ought to, I ought to look it up and. When I get a moment to like, not be bothered or worried about having to survive in an enclosed space. You know, the other thing I've always wondered, and I'm pretty sure it's just essentially CO2. But whenever I see in like movies and shows or whatever, whenever they have like this decontamination, where like when they wear the suit and go into the one room, but like the decontamination room, and they get sprayed down with that white, essentially like looks like fire extinguisher to me. That's what I'm assuming it is. But I've always been curious if it might be if there's something else that it might be. Yeah, I'm, I've always just assumed it's CO2, just to kind of get rid of all the oxygen. Kill off anything that might be on the suit. Like, it's kind of one of those things I think about where it's like, I know it probably is that, I just need that... Um, kind of like... That's how it's spelled, right? This is how something is spelled. Like, you know it's probably is. You just need that second... Oh, yeah, that's right. That second verification kind of thing. And a... Oh, semiconductor. I think those sell for... Five grand? It's either five or ten grand. Um, the other thing too, uh, my friend, she, uh, she was telling me that she was watching a copy of the, if I pronounce this right, the Curse of La Llorona. I think I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. And completely, I completely forgot about it. Like there was a whole billboard like, dedicated to it. Um, like when it was first coming out, I've never seen that before. Like a whole billboard dedicated to it. And I mean, it was like, you know, it had like the chick's arm like reaching out and like 
not so much like, oh my god, it's like I'm scared. It was kind of like, that's kind of cool to see something like so dedicated just to a movie to get a whole billboard. But I might want to try and check that out just to kind of see if it's like. Alright, I hear you. Where are you? I'm gonna get hit out of time where you're at. There you are! Oh, was that it? <laughs> That'll never get old. I hear another one. I hear another one of the little bastards. Well, uh, until you did wait. Some reason I didn't think I was wait, what? Do I have to slow it? Yeah. Generator module attached. Okay. Whatever. That works. I know there's another one around here. I hear him. Come on. No. You don't appear to be slowed down. Yep. You're blue like you are slowed down, but... Oh, I'm sh sh There you are. And there's your brother. Seriously? And there's... And there's that guy just splaying zero gravity. Uh, up wall. We need to go back. Let's see. Uh, okay. Oh, box is going to be charged. I was going to be a little pissed if that was a stasis recharge and they used my and used an item instead. Anything else in here before I head back out? Really? Oh. Centrifuge activated. All right. And everything falls. Oh, hi. Now I know why the oxygen thing was there. All right. So. Wait, what? Go down. You're doing great, Isaac. Centrifuge and gyros are both 100% and stabilized. Now get out of there and focus oh. on the engine. I don't know how much time we have left. Can I slow that down? Look like it. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And of course, of course there has to be enemies. Wouldn't be dead space battle. God, he sounds like... I mean, it looks like he's got at least 20 seconds of air left, but that sounds excruciating. Alright, I got about a minute's worth of oxygen. This might be a problem. Go, go, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. I know he's there. Alright, go. Yeah, bullshit. Wait, what?
You saw, did, you saw the guy run in there, didn't you? He got hit. Oh, wow. He must have come back out and got hit. Okay. I'll take that. You know what I mean? That's a full skin. Or, uh... Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to save right here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I will see you guys in the next video. You guys have an awesome weekend. See you guys next time.